So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best and optimized settings for Halo Infinite. Really just for keyboard and mouse and the visual settings. I can say that whichever DPI you're using primarily, stick with it. Uh, don't copy my settings unless you have to, such as like my sensitivity and stuff like that. You can copy my keybinds. This is uh, it's pretty optimal. But if you're used to the keybinds that you're using now, uh, and if you're comfortable with it and everything like that, and stick with it don't change anything but for the people who are not familiar with like keyboard and mouse or anything like that or just want to watch the video uh you can copy lines if you want to everyone's different but with that being said let's get into the settings so for controller i'm not a controller player anymore but if i ever do use controller um i'll probably make a video on that as well but for keyboard and mouse let's get into that Insert look off thing goes for uh, a vertical and horizontal and insert flight or invert flight. Uh, hold to crouch. I have that on due to this right here. And this is coming in. This is coming handy right here. When you strafe, it's really hard for you to like. It's hard for you to hit targets sometimes depending on your aim. Sometimes hard for me to hit targets, depending on the situation, like if I'm panicking, whatever, or trying to be like fast with a kill. But if I'm just having like a, you know, like a casual gun to fight sometimes, it's just easy for me to hit. It's hard for them to hit because how strafing is on this game is way different now. Uh, so for all of this right here is personal preference, whichever you want to do. For the sensitivity, I advise you to um, uh, invest into your sensitivity so just go in the bot lobby and just play around with it but for me i play on a 400 dpi on a g logitech wireless or super um uh, light pro mouse i play on a 3.5 sensitivity uh vertical so whenever you look up 1.5 and horizontal you know whenever you look side to side 1.3 i recommend your vertical sensitivity being high higher than your horizontal due to because usually when somebody's like up in the air flying like grappling whatever the fuck and just like it's really hard for you to you know look up and just track them shit like that you know you want to be as fast um when you track people like this vertically than you are like horizontally uh let's see go back so yeah, I have mine at uh, 1.5, 1.3. But like I said, if you're not familiar with keyboard and mouse and you want to start fresh and new, I recommend 400 DPI uh, with being precise and having a lot of accuracy. And you're not really shaky too as well. I know some, if you're new to keyboard and mouse, you're kind of shaky and stuff like that. Some people are like that. Um, you know, copy the sensitivity if you have to, if you're new, that is. Now for the zoom sensitivity, if you guys are confused about this, the magnification, so the 1.4, <clears throat> for instance, uh, is for the sidekick and also for the uh, AR. So if you look, when you zoom in, it says it right there, the 1.40, 1.40, so like that. That's what it is. Uh, I have mine at 1.0. I have my default. So you can tell the difference right here. I like fast you can go but I have my default you want to be accurate with this thing and don't spam or you can spam it but you want to be accurate with this thing trust me you really do uh, you want to get as much as perfects as you can honestly you really have to so whenever you shoot this gun that's really how I shoot like depending on like in the situation uh, will you spam it it's kind of weird on a it's weird when you spam it. I don't know. But yeah, uh for the 2.5, I'm pretty sure that's for the commando. So let's go over here with the commando spawn up on the wall. I'm correct. Yeah, so 2.0. Four five two point oh. Which everyone. I have mine. Yeah, so 2.5, I mine at um, 08. Honestly, this weapon right here on the 
low on a uh, on a good sensitivity, like you literally hit every single shot. It's it's crazy. But thing about it is that I gotta get fire to it. So you have to hold that bitch down like this. If you're on mouse at least. On controller, I don't know how it is on controller. Probably different. Oh. That oh shit. Change that back to uh, there you go. Uh so for the three point I'm not sure about that. I think that's slight for the newer or whatever. Maybe. Or for like the other weapons, like the heavy weapons. But for the five point oh is for the sniper rifle. Let's get the sniper right quick. Hey, you see when I zoom in. Uh you can see the uh, five times and the ten times. I'm not sure if my key I'm not sure if my um my keybind is buying it to the five times or to the ten times, sorry. But let's get back to the settings though. That's for that. Honestly, I recommend you playing on um a high sensitivity for the sniper. It's really hard for you to like to aim with this thing. Like it's really hard for you to aim and when you're like getting shot at so like that, it's like you can't no scope really. You know what I mean? Uh, you can only you really can only no scope when you're not getting shot at, or maybe. But I recommend playing on the high sensitivity or the, uh, the high magnification sensitivity for this weapon. Uh, easy flicks too as well. I was hitting some nice flicks on the bots earlier. Nice flicks and everything like that. But I recommend playing on the high sensitivity for this thing. You want to be as fast as possible with a sniper. I'm not gonna lie to you. Whenever, run, whenever enemy running up on you, you just want to be able to like zoom in, quick scope, and just get out of there. Uh, so for the mouse acceleration, I have that off. Always have that off for really any game. Uh, I'm not sure what's this for really. Uh, I really never know. Uh, on the foot now, these are optimal, uh, optimized keybinds. So if you want to copy it, or like I say, if you have your own keybinds. Um, if you're comfortable with your own keybinds, don't copy it. But for the new players that play keyboard and mouse, or that's not really familiar with keyboard and mouse, trying to find keybinds, I recommend copying it. Uh, usually, you see people use either C or Control on uh, Crouch because if you play CSGO back in the day on keyboard and mouse, you'll play Control. Uh, but on if you come in from Fortnite, you'll play on uh, you'll play on C, whichever one. I play on caps because I'm able to press caps over and over again and go SD, 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 go side to side. I do that for every single game. It's better like that for me. Brent Chef. I would say um, for melee. Yeah, Q for melee or for your, um, I think it's for the five. What is this? I think five, not five, but four on your mouse button. Oh, okay, never mind. It's five on your mouse button. Sorry. Yeah, so Q. People are not really used to using Q. I'm used to using Q because I play Destiny. And I'm used to using the uh, mouse five because I play Halo Assassination. Or grenade. I have oh I have C and I have uh mouse four or grenade switch weapon one up on scroll wheel. I don't use the scroll wheel. Drop weapon F interact with stuff E. Honestly I was gonna switch out for the interact uh up on scroll wheel because I do that for Apex whenever I loot. And it's honestly way easier to pick up stuff instead of you just having to trying to go up to something and you gotta be like like press that shit on time, you know what I mean? But I don't think these keybind right here matters, honestly, because I didn't tweak with those. But let's go into the video settings. So for the field of view, I uh, I recommend if you're on controller, I recommend either eighty to a hundred. Honestly, don't go over a hundred because, like, if you go over a hundred, your targets will be harder to hit. Actually, because the red, the reticle. But if you go to a hundred, 
Or if you go to like 80, you know what I mean? It's, your target is bigger to hit. All your targets are like huge. Here, let me show you right quick. I'm turn on the uh, turn on the bot. Oh yeah, I can find him. Let's see what he has. Sniper inbound. Mm -mm -mm. That's fun over here. Oh, he's buying. So your target is, is easy to hit. And honestly, with the FOV in this game, uh, before I before I, uh, when I was playing this game, I was having trouble with my aim. I was like, it, this no way is my aim. Honestly, well, you know, it's my aim too. But FOV, honestly, kind of fucks kind of fucks it up as well. So playing 120 is dead. Unless you're on controller, you can have like a lot of aim assist, but I, even on controller, I wouldn't recommend it. I recommend uh, only 80 or 100. But for keyboard and mouse, I recommend 100. Uh, let's go back to the visual. Yeah. So keyboard and mouse, I recommend 100. Or just in general, I recommend 100 in general. Sounds with you. But yeah, you want to play. Uh, you want your, your targets to be big, no matter what, so you can get a lot more perfect. Like that. Perfect. But, yeah. Let's turn them off. But yeah, you want a lot of perfects, no matter what. Honestly. Let's put a sidearm. Uh, borderless full screen on. I wish they had only full screen because. Uh, the frame, uh, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but the frame um, drop and stuff like that, it get, like the screen freezing is known as hell. Maybe because of this, some changes. This is on 60. Uh, all this right here, just based off whatever your PC can handle. Uh, v Sync is always off, uh, unless you have a V Sync tear. Graphics are on low, every single thing is on low. Um, FPS over looks any day for me, but for you, if you're a casual player, if you if you actually like the graphics in the game, have it on. Uh, I recommend only have it on if you're playing campaign, honestly, because you're only playing campaign. Who cares? Uh, but for the here, let me. All right, that was being annoying as fuck. All right, there you go. So for this. Um, I have a blur off. Screen shake. If you guys don't know what screen shake is, you can literally tell the difference between like Active you screen camera. shaking where you're not. Inbound. Oh shit! So if you look around like the edges of your screen, you can see your like character shaking. This is can like throw your aim off and like Active fuck you over. Available. And uh, it can also be annoying as so. hell, or for me at least. So I have it off. See, you have it off. It's like no bother or anything like that. Go back to the video setting. Uh, the full screen effect, I have that off. And the uh, exposure effect, I have that off. Due to because I don't like having um, big ass effects in my face and <laughs> shit, like explosions. And that can also lower down your FPS too, as well in a certain uh, area. So if you're having like a bunch of rockets and uh rail guns and nades and plasma grenades all that exploding in your face so like your fps will drop and your eyes will be bothered but i have that off and the ui and accessibility all that right there is whatever you want to do with that but at most that right there covers everything Honestly, like I said, the move for this game is 100 FOV. Do not play 120. I do not recommend 120 to anyone. You're going to miss a lot of shots unless you actually have like some fucking shroud aim or fucking uh, 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 sending one nigga name. Fuck, I can't even think right now. It's fucking what? 6 a.m. right now. I've been up all night. But yeah, if you have shroud aim, then uh, honestly, maybe whatever the fuck you want. But. Honestly, I recommend even Shroud to play on a uh, uh, 100 FOV. The way, hey, wait, it was way much better. Get better uh, sidearm, perfects, everything like that. But that's about it. That covers everything. Like the video, you gotta like it. Whatever you want to do, I don't give a fuck.
or if you're new to the channel, do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> I honestly don't care. But uh, yeah, that's really about it. All I want to cover. Probably gonna take my ass to sleep later on. Go to the gym. That's about it. Anyways, hope you guys like the video for real though. S7 sniper inbound. Shut the fuck up, bitch. All right, I'm in this lame ass video.